welcome back uh, we continue our discussion with uh, recommend, recommender system and in this particular class we are going to talk about collaborative filtering based uh, recommendation uh, system uh, here this collaborative filtering based recommender system can be broadly classified into two categories user user based and item item based in fact there are other collaborative filtering uh, techniques as well, but we are limiting ourselves to only these two to understand the concept. Now, in this user user based collaborative filtering, the idea is to identify the like minded users and uh, finding those like minded users and, uh, and looking at the preference of one user, you recommend the item to a similar user who have seen who are uh, similar in terms of their um, the in terms of the items they are looking at. So, it is about identifying the like minded users. So, this collaborative filtering algorithm is actually the oldest of these two in fact, the social information filtering that we were talking about which was a very first initiative for recommendation generation. Uh, this user user based uh, user user based finding the like minded user uh, for generating recommendation was used. So, now in this particular method which is not very popular in the commercial domain because of its calculation procedure where everything happens in a online environment. As a result, the system becomes slow, very slow as the number of users and number of items increase and it is extremely difficult to use them in the commercial setting. However, uh, for research setting many people still also use this user user based approach. So, it is about identifying like minded users and this is the basic collaborative filtering, but the corresponding commercial application is bit different where the item items based on the buying pattern of various users, the item item based similarity based on the users buying pattern is first computed offline. Then whenever a user comes and looks at an item, then that matrix that similarity matrix is preferred to um, suggest the item. In fact, Amazon in a commercial setting first started this particular item item based recommendation. So, in case of uh, whether it is either an um, um, item item or user user, few steps are followed. For example, in case of user user first task is to reduce the dimension. So, it is about transforming the original user preference matrix into a lower dimension user preference matrix if you remember we for recommender system while discussing about uh, in the very first class about the uh, basic framework the important element in a recommender system was the user user uh, the user item preference matrix this user item preference matrix contains the ratings provided by each user to each item. When I say provided by either it is explicitly provided or it, it is implicitly generated, but whatever it, it may be the case, we assume that we have that user item rating matrix with us. Okay. Now, this mat matrix often will be very large. So, therefore, transforming this preference matrix into a lower dimensional matrix to address the sparsity and scalability problem is the first task to be addressed. Then the second is for each user we have to find out who are the similar users or we will be forming the neighborhood of each active user. Then once we find out the neighborhood who are the like minded users, then we generate the recommendation. So, uh, 
we for this dimensionality reduction may be singular value decomposition or um, your um, PCA can be used, but here we are simply giving some very uh, rudimentary example what exactly we mean by dimensionality reduction. Let us say we have uh, we have some 5 users rating some 6 items. Now, looking at this rating you can see not every user has seen every uh, movie. So, uh, each many of these places are blank. So, this matrix is quite sparse it is not that sparse, but it is quite sparse, but as you can increase as you can imagine if the number of users grow and number of items grow and in each user might not be might not have seen all the movies. So, therefore, only few movies each each user must have seen. So, therefore, as the size increases the sparseness will also increase, but the idea here is to see that how it can be grouped together in different groups. Look, now uh, if we rearrange this rows possibly we can make some three groups like actions some outside foreign movies, some classics and you can see the first group of user are interested in foreign movies and classics and second group are interested in actions and classic movies. Now, this kind of uh, categorization if it is done it can be done automatically it can be, but doing it manually is, is a cumbersome process, but at least we can if we know the category of the movie from let us say some explicit data set we can try this categorization as well for grouping the item grouping the users. So, these methods of dimensionality reduction can be either semi manual or it can be automated. In case of semi manual you can use product features like in the, this movie example whether uh, the um, whether the movie is belongs to a specific category you can try to do some kind of semi -man manual activities. Then you can also cluster the products, then you can cluster the users to find out the groups. So, even if you have uh, I mean only when it you have descriptive features of the product available you can go this way, but if not you can actually go for some kind of automatic method. Uh, some of this method I mean that these methods we are uh, in general we are not going to discuss as such, but some example situation we can see. For example, in case of adjusted product product um, taxonomy look we have a data set in which we have clothes, footwear, cosmetic and accessories manually this grouping is made and under each group again some subgroup is made and the number of items under each can be found out. Let us say these are the number of items under each, but the thing is here there are more items here there are less. So, even if uh, I mean we will try to more or less balance this to for uh, ease of search what can be done some products can be moved even if they do not be belong to this category they can be moved from here to here and make. For example, here look clothes was on this uh, outerwear, pants, shirt etcetera and footwear was shoes, socks uh, and so on. Now, they can be adjusted like clothes can contain this outerwear pant and shirt together because these two values were too less they can be combined and put together. Footwear can contain only shoes then this uh, socks and skin care sock uh, uh, can be put as one socks plus skin care category with this many products. Cosmetics under cosmetics 
you can put only perfume because this value is very high you can put together and this number were very small this accessories along with that um, um, I mean uh, all these three things can be put together and made one thing. So, instead of these many subcategories now we have broken it into a different subcategories though sometimes uh, because now see this requires domain knowledge and a user with domain knowledge has uh, some uh, developer with domain, domain knowledge has manually divided this partition, manually partitioned this. But if we do it automatically taking care of that uh, syntact syntactic things may not be possible, but at least the, the program can take care of adjusting the products in each category. So, that items number of items are at least of of uh, same uh, number. So, that they uh, they I mean the, the balance can be maintained while making a search. So, instead of these small small things uh, kept together they have been combined here pant shirt has been combined then your uh, skin care skin care skin care and socks has combined perfume is considered as a separate things and all the accessories have been combined. So, that way search becomes little fast. Then there can be some auto further automatic methods like your latent semantic indexing where the original matrix dimension of the original matrix is reduced by finding the corresponding lower dimensional equivalent matrix. Okay. So, it uh, specifically it uses singular value decomposition method if you are acquainted with, but anyway you do not worry you do not have to be solving problems this is just to let you know that such methods do exist. Then uh, next task was to first was for dimension reduction next task was to find out uh, the like minded users this is done by forming the neighborhood. So, for forming this neighborhood again there are many methods one such method is using a uh, most simplistic method is using uh, by the use of Pearson correlation coefficient. For example, if user u i and user u a user u a is the active user whose whether uh, he is similar to this user or not can be found out by computing the correlation between this row and this row. This row and this row, but see this person might have been rating many items this person also has already rated many items, but all the items this person has rated this person has not rated similarly all the items this person has rated this person has not rated. So, therefore, we will be to find out correlation you need same number of uh, elements in these two user vectors. So, therefore, if something is rated here and not rated here and here including your vector dimension of the vector will not be same. If you think of replacing that with a 0 in fact, many of the authors do that you can very well do if the item is not rated you can consider it as a 0, but uh, some of the authors view it as uh, because if the rating is from 1 to 5 let us say in the scale of 1 to 5 then 0 means giving a very lower rating for computational purpose you can use that 0, but this may lead to certain erroneous result. So, therefore, many of the authors suggest that you take may build this this vectors this u i and u a for only co rated items. Once you have this co rated items ready both this will have same length. So, once they have the same length you can use this formula and find out the correlation. Once out the find out the correlation this found correlation will be treated as the similarity between the active user and you other some other user some other user who has already given his rating. So, therefore, for this user A with all the remaining users you find out this similarity. 
once this similarity is computed then top few users who are most similar to this active user will be under his uh, neighborhood so once this neighborhood is formed and you find out the uh, nearest neighbors next is generating the recommendation for a newer item a newer item you generate the recommendation to generate this recommendation there are again see these the uh, formulas that i am showing from author to author this formula vary little bit to adjust to a specific situation or to incorporate a particular author's uh, view point but we, for our application purpose here for our discussion purpose here please limit yourself to the formulas that we discuss recommender system is a broad topic i have made it clear from the beginning and these ratings etc the calculation procedure etc may vary based on various authors uh, opinion but here we use this so to find out the predicted rating of the item j for the active user a we take the average rating of the active user then the contribution from the similarity of the other user we add to this so this is found out by the weighted value of the deviation of each active user from that specific product rating this is pij is the rating given by the ith user for jth product pi bar is the average rating given by the ith user so this is this deviation from its mean into similarity of user a with user i which we have already found out this weighted sum normalized to this similar sum of the similarity values is added to this average rating score of the user of the user a to generate the predicted rating value so this predicted rating for all the items which are not seen by user a are found and out of that the top few ones are suggested to the user okay so here what is the offline page offline page there is nothing just store the transaction of the past users in the online page, page you find out the uh, similarity of the active user with the other users then you predict this is quite a time consuming process as the data set grow this is no more possible so therefore for commercial application this is not a right kind of scenario so next uh, but this idea can be extended to a item item collaborative filtering environment here the search is search for similarity among the item is first made and uh, this all the computation for this generating this item item similarity matrix based on the user preference as uh, are done in a offline manner then once this item item uh, similarity matrix is ready then it can be used for recommendation by the way this item item similarity matrix is more stable i mean they do not change very frequently like that of your user user preference matrix because uh, see in a online environment you really do not have any control over your users whosoever uh, user come today and moreover you do not keep track of your users because most of the users will not log in into the site okay so you can use cookies etc but that is again limited by the uh, by the client computers uh, by the client client may decide not to use the cookie so anyway this item item similarity is understood to be more um, stable 
So, there are many methods of doing so, we are again going with that correlation based method which we have already discussed. Here instead of the user user between item item based on the co-rated users, if the users if two users have if many users have commonly rated the items, wherever uh, they have got ratings in both the places that part only is, Q is used for predicting the similarity score. The similarity score is nothing but your correlation coefficient. So, after this is I am not going to discuss it further because we did it just now. So, once this is done you, you find out this item item similarity this is a n cross n matrix, but it is a because it is a n cross n similar uh, n cross n symmetric matrix because the similarity of i to j is same as the similarity of j to i you have total n into n minus no, one number of similarity measures from diagonal to upwards a diagonal matrix it is basically diagonal matrix. So, uh, for each case you determine what, what are the k similar items and you keep it together. Now, in the online phase when a user comes as soon as he puts one item into his shopping cart or as soon as he views one item, for that item whatsoever is the similar item you find out from this k most similar item list and display. Okay. So, this is as I told you this particular um, method is adopted in fact suggested by Amazon. So, Amazon uses this uh, particular uh, algorithm, but a large retailer like that of Amazon has huge amount of data may be tens of millions of customers and millions of distinct product items. Now, many applications, uh, applications require the results set to be returned in real time. So, therefore, may be within half a second you have to uh, provide your suggestion. So, uh, in this deal to deal with this environment they only suggested this item item collaborative filtering algorithm. Here in the offline component the computation of the item item similarity matrix is made and in the online component as soon as uh, a user enters the item the similarity is fetched from the similarity table and items are suggested by in this process they use the algorithm like for each item in the product catalog uh, a specific product catalog let us say i 1 for each customer who purchased um, this item i 1 for each item i 2 purchased by the customer c record that the customer has purchased i 1 and i 2 for each item i 2 compute the similarity between i 1 and i 2. This is their method for finding the similarity. Next uh, after for uh, similarity once they find out this this thing these two vectors where they are co-rated Amazon specifically uses this cosine similarity. I have uh, told you the similarity measures can be of many types correlation was one, but Amazon as such uses cosine similarity. So, there are many similarity measures. So, once this is done the similarity is computed which is quite time uh, consuming. In the online environment the uh, recommendation can be very quickly made which depends on uh, I mean you do not really have to have a past history of the user because of because every every um, user whenever he browses or purchases their history is instantly captured that is kept item item similarity matrix is made. So, whenever a new user comes in whether he is registered or not registered does not matter. As soon as he puts one item 
that item is uh, the similar items to that item is fetched from the similarity table and brought back to him as recommendations. So, this is the assignment you try doing. Here the ith row in this matrix represents the single transaction by a buyer B i. The non-zero entries in a row represent the items bought uh, together during the transaction and the corresponding value represent the preference score assigned to the items by the buyer. Now, if an active buyer A has put item I 4 in his shopping cart, you have to recommend one more item to him. You have to use item item similarity collaborative filtering algorithm for recommendation generation use on in use both the cosine similarity as well as Pearson similarity because you know uh, both this to generate this recommendation. So, what you have to do first you have to build a item item similarity matrix once that item item similarity matrix is made then you have to say if the active user A has put I 4 I 4 in his shopping cart which other item has to be recommended to him. Look there is a problem associated with collaborative filtering which is called cold start problem. We are not anyway going to discuss have a discussion on that. Uh, cold start problem in the sense suppose a new item comes in no user has rated the item. So, its similarity with other items is not available then in all the recommendation it is never going to come. So, it has to be this particular situation has to be dealt with separately possibly using a content based recommender system uh, recommendation approach you find out content wise how similar is this product with others and then you start and once you start suggesting it people will view it people will purchase it there its the items history will be generated then it can have a place in the item item similarity matrix. Okay. So, with this we finish our lecture and next lecture will be continuing on this uh, recommender system with a new um, type of approach. Thank you very much.